Shalom, we're here in the cemetery of uh, the uh, kibbutz, of the uh, Kfar Etzion and Gush Etzion. Here behind me uh, is being laid to rest a leader, Jewish hero, uh, Rabbi Hanan Parat. He was a leader in so many ways, in the political arena, uh, in the Jewish Torah, the Yeshiva world. And uh, here we spoke with uh, some of the participants. There were many Knesset members, ministers, rabbis, all came to here to pay respect to this important leader, Rabbi Hanan Parat. Hanan, in his own uh, silent way, uh, many times loud, but uh, in general in a silent way, was uh, a true leader, a person that resembled and, and represented everything that we believe in, whether it's Torah Yisrael, whether it's Am Yisrael, whether it's Eretz Yisrael, he, he, he did it. He, he was there, whether it's in his books, uh, in action, in the Knesset, in politics, or in, in just on his daily life, coming to his home or uh, taking a ride with him. I remember when I was a yeshiva bacher, getting a, you know, I was hitching a ride uh, from Oret Zion to Yerushalayim, and he gave me a ride. The, the conversation, you, you didn't feel you were with a Chavar Knesset. You, you felt like you were with a human being that was just trying to, to show you how much love he has for every single Jew in the world and every single drop of land of Eretz Yisrael and every single halacha or Torah. So complicated, essentially impossible to describe Avchanan in in few words, because it was everything. I mean, he was he was a leader. Uh, he was a visioner. Uh, he, he he was uh, he was a person who really showed the way to so many people. Avchanan is a, he was a special Oli Neshome that you see only once in a few generation. And I think today we lost uh, one of the biggest neshamot we ever had in the Jewish nation. On the other hand, HaKadosh Baruch Hu got part of himself that uh, he's very happy after. We saw him cry uh, during the expulsion from Gush Katif. That was also something very uh, strong about him. He felt the land of Israel. I think that there's no doubt that the, uh, the disengagement from Gush Katif, the expulsion, was without a doubt a stab in his heart like it was to so many of us. Uh, because he worked so hard in, in A, running on, during the six days, uh, six day war and capturing the Harabite, capturing the Kotel, uh, standing there and crying as a soldier, right? Understanding that God gave us a miracle, God gave us this land. Then literally working for almost 40 years and building up every single home in the land of Israel and then to see his own government come and, and, and rip it apart. Uh, I, I mean, the, the, it's like seeing a father destroy his own son, uh, you know, and, and it really ripped him apart. He had a very rare combination of love, of love to people, of love to, to the land, of love to the Torah. Um, he was a person who was, uh, on one hand, very assertive, on the other hand, very polite, very gentle, very sensitive. Um, I mean, it's it's a kind of uh, visioners who uh, can find very few in each generation. And you look at the crowd over here. You see people from Meretz. You see people from Likud. You see people from Labor, and you see people from uh, from Ichud Lumi, of course. But uh, what what the Nikuda, the, the little, the real heart point of Hanan Purat was he was Emes. And whether you disagreed with him or you agreed with him, you knew he was a true and real Jew, somebody that, that he, he wasn't all fluff. He was there, he was, he, he was Emmas, and he was there for everyone.